Hello again, everybody, and uh, welcome to another Edge Sculpture New Introductions video presentation. And uh, as you can see behind me, it's, uh, it's a bit hot here, but we are in the uh, lava fields of Iceland, uh, which I think is quite apt for what we um, have to present yeah. to you today. Um, it's, it's, it's something we've, um, we kept, we've been a bit secretive about, you know, well, kept it under our hat. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's something myself and Matt have been uh, developing for, for yeah. quite a while. So I think uh, over to Matt to um, explain yeah. it, I think. Well, by the very title of the film, Experimental, that ex that's actually sums it all up. It has been. Now, I guess you're looking at the minute at the minute thinking, what is he talking about? He's just painted six dragons in six <laughs> different coloured eggs. What's the special, yeah. so special about it? Why is it different? Well. That's the point, really. Now, the point is, we want that to, mm -hmm. to be the case. We want you to look at the piece and think, well, hang on a minute. It looks exactly the same as every other, stylistically, in the way we paint it, as every other edge piece does, by design. However, you can light these up. These pieces can be illuminated. Mm -hmm. And the whole reason we've been trying to do that is to add another dynamic to the piece, yeah. a very subtle dynamic. Now. By the word illumination, what we don't mean is it's not a lamp. No, it won't it's light not, up a no, room. No, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to basically uh, uh, bring a, hot, a new look to something, to a piece, by exploring colour. And by exploring colour, what we mean is each individual egg is cast in a different colour, in a translucent manner, so that the colour comes through not solid comes through now also to bounce light round we've also put a metallic filler in there so it, it, it's been quite complicated to get to that point it isn't just as simple as putting a dye in this is a very high quality dye but also we've had to have do quite a uh, experimental mixing process with it and nick my mold maker has basically been making lots of different colors and lots of different attempts at it. And we've been working on it for about six or seven months. We tried lots of, lots of fillers. At one point, we were even looking at trying to do a, uh, a sort of rock salt sort of approach. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that didn't quite work, didn't quite look right. But we've got there now. Now, as you can see, we have a green dragon, a white dragon, a copper dragon, a red dragon, a black dragon, and a blue dragon. Now, they're all painted to, to exactly reveal that. But if we turn the lights on, which we're going to do now, yeah, Dan. Yeah. Okay, yeah. should we do after yeah. three? One, two, three. Ta-da! The lights also permeate that colour that I was just touching upon. Now, with this process of colour shining through, it is very difficult to see it properly with this sort of light scenario. Yeah. There's a lot of light in here. This is an overlit studio environment, yet you could still make it out. Yes, absolutely. But also, you can also see the colour that we're talking about coming through the piece in a subtle way. That's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's um, as Matt's t touched upon, uh, we want it to be uh, you know, yeah. two pieces in one um, with, without the light. It's uh, like a normal edge piece, uh, object, dar, object you can display yeah. in your living room. But uh, it can be transformed to uh, or have another aspect with the, li the light on. And that can be at night time or during the day, as you can see here. You know, it, it's really bright yeah. in here to hide our uh, uh, crow's feet. Um, but uh, you can still see it. So, so yes, it's not, it's not necessarily a lamp you switch on at night time. Because uh, as Matt said, it won't light up a room. But it, it'll, it'll glow. It'll, it has this nice yeah. light, nice ambient light. An ambient light. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing, the reason we call it experimental is... Um, this is a, sub, a style that we can then carry through to other pieces. So I could be sculpting other pieces to take advantage of all the hard work that we've put into it, be it from a painting situation, be it from a casting situation, and lots of subjects going forward could yield different colours. This isn't just the whole pa entire palette. We could go beyond that. The most important thing is we can achieve it. Yeah. And by can achieve it means that even though this looks and has been... I suppose introduced as much of a as much of a concept as anything else. It isn't actually. We've actually quite far down the manufacturing cycle with it to the extent that we are making it, mm -hmm. and we can release it in time for Christmas. Absolutely. So, so yeah. So even though you know this is a, a reveal, and we very much are trying to gauge response by it, we've also had to, you know go with our own confidence of what we think will work oh, yeah, and we, ha we are pushing yeah. through with it. But, but make sure we, we try right. and 
can do it first, which is what we've done. That's right. Now, Dan's going to go over how we're illuminating the dragon now, I do believe, Dan. Yeah, yeah the light source, as you yeah. probably uh, guessed, um, it's, uh, it's a mains light. Yeah. Um, it, it isn't attached to the dragon. It is separate. It doesn't come separately. No. It, uh, it comes as a pack, as a set with the dragon. I'll just uh, take the, the red dragon off so I can show you the light yeah. itself. As you see, it just comes straight off. And it's, uh, it's a very, very thin, uh, what's called a puck light. Yeah. Um, it's only two watts LED, um, which is, uh, you know, quite energy efficient. Um, what we didn't want to use was uh, a battery operated one. Uh, yes, we wouldn't have a cable, but a battery one would be quite thick. Yeah. Um, and what we're trying to do is to illuminate the piece directly from the bottom up. Um, with the battery one, it would be halfway up, which would yeah. be which is no good. Um, I'll just pop this back on here so you can see it. And it goes on, that, that's it, goes on quite nicely. Um, so I'll just show you the light, the light pack, which will come with every dragon. So you can see we've got the, the light you've just seen, we've got the rocker switch, which will switch them on and off. Obviously, th these are linked to the same rocker switch, but each uh, dragon will have an independent one of yeah. these. Um, and uh, for the UK, our uh, trusty three pin plug, which, which will be UK CA certificated. And uh, we will be doing a, a, a two pin plug for yeah. our European customers, <coughs> which will be uh, CE uh, yeah. certificated as well. But th yes, that will come with every dragon, one of these with every dragon. Also, every dragon. Now, you can see six different colors here. And, th and there's another aspect that we wanted to look at with the dragons, with the colours. And, and and that largely comes from the modern concept of a dragon through uh, film, through books, and through games, particularly like, say, Dungeons and Dragons, where the colour also dictates the uh, personality and the character of the dragon, and also where their habitat might be, and also how they might maim or kill their prey. <laughs> yes, I know that sounds a little bit sort of vicious and maybe a little bit sort of, uh, I suppose, nerdy to a de degree. But that's that's the world we're in. I mean, that dragons have that sort of interest with uh, folks. But, but also, you know, yeah. you, you, yes, you, you're, you're saying they're yeah. vicious, but so is a lion, so is a tiger. That's right. And we can see the beauty in, in those animals, those beasts. And yes, the same is uh, with a dragon. And this is a European yeah. style of dragon, a medieval style of dragon. Mm. Um, colors are also very sim uh, um, symbolic with Chinese dragons as well in a similar way. Mm -hmm. But what are we going to do with that? Well. We're also going to release each individual piece with a card, a, li a little card with a little sort of picture of the dragon's head on it, with their character, with <laughs> the habitat, and with their weapon of choice, as we've you know, alluded to, a subtle weapon of choice, yeah, yes. as a little bit of fun. So in other words, we're not taking it overtly seriously with that aspect, and hopefully uh, there might be people that like the piece just on its own merit because they like the look of it. There might not be, of course, but we just hope people like them. Absolutely. That's the most important thing. Yep. So I think in order to see them a bit closer, because mm -hmm. again, as we've pointed out, this light is not ideal to demonstrate illumination by any means whatsoever. Uh, we should go to your 3D60 yep. turnarounds. Then, uh, absolutely. Mike. I've uh, produced uh, 360 on all these, yep. so you, you'll see it yep. uh, with the, the light on and off. And uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the light appears all the way around it. Yeah. So, so but you'll be able to see that in the, the 360 uh, coming up now. Um, I think it's magic button time. Magic oh, well, button. Mythical button time, I think. I've, yeah, I've, myth I've, and magic yes, button time. Yes, I've, I've, I've changed it. He's changed it. <laughs> well, well, yes, it had to be. It's, it's also powered by the thermal it is. behind us. Yeah. Yep, okay then. Point. All right, three, two, one, go.
Hello, everybody, and uh, and welcome back. Um, I hope you enjoyed that uh, 360 sequence, and you got to see uh, all the dra dragons um, yep. in all their glory, as it were. And uh, I think um, Matt, did you have anything else to, to mention? Yeah. Um, now, going on to the fact we've got six colours here, and I've also alluded to the fact that we are ahead with manufacture. From a colour perspective, though, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to go with all six colours and manufacture them all before Christmas. But we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because we've tried to keep this um, sort of experimental secret, we haven't revealed anything. This is it. This is the first time. Yeah. So following this, I guess tomorrow, a bit academic if you're watching this in a week's time, but in present context, tomorrow, yeah. I'll be uh, putting on our Facebook, Edgefoot Sculpture Facebook page the pictures individually of the dragon. And I guess in the purest honesty that you could possibly get, Absolutely. we'll get an opinion over what colours people like or don't, mm. or whether they like the piece or not. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in, but that is basically <laughs> where we're at. So following this, yes, we will be gauging opinion. It doesn't mean to say we're not releasing all six colours. It might just be three, but hopefully the vi what the film has done, the presentation, has given you the uh, the notion of what we've been trying to achieve Absolutely. and the colours that can work mm -hmm. within it. Over to you, Dan. Yeah, well, well um, yeah, before, before we finish, I think um, I've just got to say, please like and subscribe our yep. videos. And it's probably one thing I didn't mention when we we're talking about the lights is that uh, you can't use uh, tea lights or flames yeah. in these. That's not what they're for. You've got to use the, the lights provided. Um, and that's it, really. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see you uh, very soon with another new intros um, yep. video. Yeah. Um, I think very soon. Very soon. Obviously, it depends when you're watching this. But uh, yeah, no, thank you for watching. And uh, I think mythical button time Absolutely. again. So, and uh, yep, say goodbye, goodbye, folks. Three, two, one. Bye.